All right, welcome back everyone to Plant-Based Kidney Health. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi and my partner is Michelle Krosmer. And today's question, Michelle, is everyone wants to know about CoQ10. Can you tell us, CoQ10, is it good? Is it bad for patients with kidney disease? What do you think? Okay, so CoQ10 or coenzyme Q10, it is a vitamin like quinone and basically it helps or works to lower oxidative stress. It does this by helping to neutralize or reduce free radicals. It helps um, with electron transport in the mitochondria, and it also helps with recycling and recovering other antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E. And so in the general population, it's usually um, you know, safe for people to be supplementing with. And then we do have some research on people with kidney disease and even cardiovascular disease and other disease states where they look at supplementing with CoQ10. And so the potential benefits for people with kidney disease is that it um, potentially can help with lowering blood pressure, helping with lowering inflammation. Um, oftentimes people with kidney disease are actually have low levels of CoQ10 um, or potentially could be deficient. So obviously it could help with repleting that and making sure that they get enough. And, um, you know, it has been, you know, one of the, the main place it's been studied is people that are on dialysis. And that's oftentimes where we see that there's these low levels of CoQ10. And so, um, you know, when it's been studied there, it's been supplemented around 1200 milligrams and they found that it did help to lower oxidative stress um, and inflammation. But I think the, the thing to keep in mind is there's all of these potential benefits. There's likely not safety concerns. You know, it doesn't seem to accumulate in the tissues, um, you know, and it doesn't appear to have um, adverse, you know, serious adverse side effects. There might be some nausea or maybe some GI discomfort in some people, but, you know, that's what we're looking at. But then it comes down to the the form and then the dosing of it. And so usually you'll find supplements around, you know, anywhere from 50 to 500 milligrams. And I'd say that's probably a place where um, you would, you would look to for supplementing. And usually the um, Ubiquinol is the form of the CoQ10 that you would see if you look at the, the supplement information. But I think the, the main thing to remember is that you, before you start taking a supplement, you always want to double check with your physician and your healthcare team to make sure that it's good for you. And then the other thing with all supplements to remember is that you want something that's third party tested so that, you know, you actually know, okay, if I'm getting a hundred milligrams of this CoQ10, are you really getting hundred? Are you getting 10, are you getting 3000 milligrams? You know, it's important to know that. And that's where third-party testing for supplements, um, you know, is beneficial. So I'd say in general, it's likely something that is safe. Um, a lot of potential benefits for people with kidney disease. There is some research and some studies in this population, but you do want to double check with your physician and make sure that's right for you. And then that you are getting a reputable um, supplement manufacturer brand. Um, and that's it. Again, put your questions in the comments and we'll see you guys next time.